Hi kids and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sunshine and I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. And today I have a huge thrift haul for you. I thrifted the whole week and went to multiple Goodwills and a lot of little thrift stores and I'm excited to share what I found with you guys. So we're gonna get right into it. And this one is a smaller store, kind of set up like Goodwill, but it's not a Goodwill. And I found some shoes. So we're gonna start off with, and I kept the price tags in. So I spent $5 on these. These are these cute coach signature jackered driving shoes. You can tell by the nubs on the bottom that they're called a driving loafer. And they have the cute harness bit on the front with the logo. And these are a size eight. And they're in really good condition. I mean, the soles, you know, are kind of a little dirty, but other than that, I thought for $5, yeah, I'll pick these up. Hoping they'll bring like 25. I was close. Coach these sold on Macari. Then I found a bag full of these. You can see SpongeBob right there. And what they are is they are shower hooks. So they have SpongeBob and his friends with a metal hook. And I only paid $2 for the bag, but it was sealed. And when I got it home, it's missing one. So I'm not sure if I can even sell that, but they are so cute. And the ones that I do have are in great condition. So like I said, I don't know if I can even sell them. I may have to redonate. Then I found some shoes, Nike shoes, that actually weren't marked up. So they had $6 on these. And these are Nike, I think they're Air Max. I can't, no, they're not Air Max. It says Nike Free. I picked them up because of the colors on them. I love these colors. And they're really lightweight. And they're really in good condition. The only thing with these is the inside, um, what was in the insole right here is rubbed off. But other than that, they are in excellent, excellent condition. And they are a size 10, which is a good size. So I paid $6. And I'm hoping these will bring 40 or 50, but I don't know. I have to look up the style. But I really love these the colors on these. And can't believe they didn't mark them up. Because this is the store that prices their boots at $70. Like, yeah, who does the pricing? Okay, also while I was there, I found some clothing items. So let's see here. The first thing I picked up, I paid $5 for this. This is a Nike Golf Dry Fit, size XXL, striped golf shirt in excellent condition. And one of the reasons I picked it up, it has some embroidery on this sleeve and then it has the swoosh on the other sleeve. And golf season's coming up, so I don't know. I'll probably price that around 25 and see what it brings. And then the other clothing piece was also men's. These I paid $3 for because of the print. Look at the print. So they're swim shorts, and they have surfboards all over them. And I didn't recognize this brand Hang 10 in a size extra large. <clears throat> so I didn't recognize the brand, so I picked them up thinking they were something. Kind of find out they're sold at Kohl's. So yeah, I'll probably only get 15 for those, but I really like the print. It's so cute. And then I also picked up some other hard goods there. So I know that Trapper Keepers can bring good money. 
but only if they're vintage. And this one isn't vintage. I didn't even know they still made them. So I was thinking it was a good score because I was thinking they don't make them anymore, but they still do. So this is a Trapper Keeper in two-tone blue. It has the carrying handle at the top. It's got the Velcro opening on the front. And then it zips around and opens up to a three-ring binder. And I paid $3 for this, you know, thinking they don't make them anymore. So I'm not even sure how much I can get for this. Hopefully at least 15, but we'll just have to see. And then I also found a belt. This is the store that I found that belt for $4.50 that I ended up selling for $100. I did eventually find it for those of you that watch that video where I was frantically searching through the bags for it. So I paid $4 for this and it's not branded, but it does say genuine leather on it. And it is a size 36. Made in Mexico, it's hand tooled, it's beautiful. What a detail that went into this. It's got the horseshoes, the embossed horseshoes, some uh, leather braiding, in really excellent condition. In fact, by the looks of the holes, you could tell this one hasn't even been, be hello, I can't talk, been punched out yet. So yeah, I'm hoping this will bring 25 or 30, but we'll just have to see. And let's see where else I went. Whew, I've got tons of bags. I don't even know, because like I said, I thrifted probably two or three days during the week. So this bag is a, oh, so this is from my honey haul. So I ended up paying $5 for this because I know the brand. And it's Sans Soleil in a size small. This is a zip front pullover, polo. It's got the long sleeves with the mesh underneath. Can be used for golf or tennis or basically any kind of outdoor activity. And it has some SPF protection in it built into the fabric. So these are really, in the past, have been really good sellers for me has the cute gemstone. So I'll probably be listing this for around 30, 35, see what it brings. And then I also, I always look at, uh, they have a jean section where they put some of their jeans for a dollar. So I found a few dollar jeans and the first one is Erica Petit in a size large. And it is just your comfort jean, so it has the elastic waist, side pockets, capri length, it's got the hem vents, and it's in a light wash. And people really like these because they're really comfortable and forgiving. So I'll probably list that around 15 and see what it brings. And surprisingly, I have never found this out in the wild. And where do I find it? On the dollar rack. So this is Spanx, size small. And they are a dark wash jegging in excellent condition. Have the two back pockets, the elastic waist, and the front is made to look like pockets and, and a fly, but it's just set in there. So I'm excited to look these up and see what they're worth. So jazzed I could find them for a dollar. Yes, please, I will try those out. Don't mind if I do. And they also had Harley Davidson jeans. So these are Harley Davidson in a size um, two. <clears throat> See the size two? Oh, wrong thing. See the size two? But they measure outfit like a 10 or 12. 
So I don't know what's up with that. There's the branding right there. So they're just your medium wash bootleg jeans. And they have the branding on the back. And they are were made in Hong Kong, so these are vintage. And I all the vintage clothes I've ever come across run small. So for these to run big, I don't understand. Unless they have vanity sizing at Harley, or did back then. Because they sure didn't when I was buying it. So I don't know. Um, comps are all over the place. Anywhere from 15 to 50. So I don't know where I'm going to price those at. Especially since they don't measure out to be the size they're tagged. But I was happy to find those. And they're in good condition. So the last pair I picked up for a dollar are Diane Gilman DG2 size medium. Elastic waist. And these are flared. These might be considered jeggings also. In fact, they probably are. So they have the two back pockets and the front. They actually have a half coin pocket. In really good condition and they're in a light wash. So I'll probably list those around 15 and see what they bring. Brought $10. I think I also um, bought some more stuff there, but it's probably mixed up. Oh, yeah, I did. It's probably mixed up with the other stuff. I wish it was with it because what happened was I saw some brands in there that I weren't wasn't sure of. So I went out to my car, had a little lunch, and looked them up and immediately went running back in to pick them up. So let's see if I can find those. And they're probably not with it. So eventually, eventually we'll get to that. So let's move on. <clears throat> this is a little tiny faith-based thrift store that I only get to maybe once a month because it's so far out. But I love going there because I find some really cool pieces and they're really reasonably priced. So first item, all of these items only cost a dollar. They were having a sale. First item I picked up, I thought this was Brighton, but I don't think it is. Mm -mm. So it's a black leather belt. It's got the embossed silver tone conchos, the filigree buckle, snakeskin embossed print. And it does have some um, discoloration on the conchos and a little bit of creasing and wear in the holes, but I'm thinking I can probably get at least 15 for this because it's a good size. I forget what size it is and I'm not gonna be able to see in this light, but I wanna say it's a, oh, here it is. I wanna say it's a 40, yeah, it's a 44. And it is genuine leather, so it's marked. So I don't know, maybe 15 or 20. <clears throat> when I first walked in there, I remember hearing recently that chess is a big thing now, maybe because of the tournament or something. I don't remember. But anyway, so the first thing I saw was this. And I knew it was a wood chess set, but it was taped up. So I took the tape off and surprisingly, it had all the pieces in it. And it had the felt lining. And you're not going to be able to see this because I'd have to take all the pieces out. Well, let me show you some of the pieces. So they're all hand-carved wood. And all the pieces are here. And they have the felt on the bottom, with which generally tells you the item's vintage. Really good carving. And the case, is, uh, the case says made in West Germany. So, good score on this for a dollar because the comps are telling me this may be my next $100 flip. So, crossing my fingers, that's what's going to happen with it. So, it's just a travel chess set for a dollar. And the next two items I picked up, who knows why. Probably because they were a dollar and I knew I could flip them for a profit. So the first thing I saw was this, and I knew their uh, 
draining pans like for your oven. Luckily, right next to it was the box of another set. And these are Whirlpool factory certified chrome bowls, contains two six inch, two eight inch. And we did open this box up and it's the same thing as these. So they're going for between 20 and 25 on eBay. And I have two sets. One will just be titled Open Box. So like I said, I like going to this place because I find some good deals now and then. And that chess set may be a good find. I mean, I'm sure it is. It's just whether it'll sell or how quickly it'll sell. Okay, then we're going to move on to Goodwill. A Goodwill. I think I hit more than one. So... This was at the Goodwill I usually go to. So I paid $5 for these because they are adorable little youth boots. And I looked inside and they're genuine leather, Old West, leather upper. Problem is they don't have a size in them. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. And I didn't see this, but you see the little uh, peeling in the back. But other than that, they're in excellent condition. And I just thought these are so cute. Your little cowgirl or cowboy could be wearing these. They have the embossed or the emb uh, embroidered details on them. And they are in excellent condition except for that inside. Look at that. So adorable. $5. Hopefully, I'll get at least $20. But pumps don't look great. I couldn't leave them behind. I love me some boots. They're just so cute. Okay, here's the other bag from my honey hole. So, like I said, I went out to eat some lunch and look up these brands. Shocking. Yes, I ran, ran, ran. I'm going to save the best piece for last. This was on their dollar rack. I didn't, I had never heard of Zella. Zella's kind of a medium high end uh, sportswear. You know leggings and stuff so this is a zella extra small this is the back logo if you guys ever come across it this is just a basic v-neck t-shirt you know yoga jogging working out all the good stuff in a, in a purple color so i haven't looked up the actual tops for zella but i'm hoping maybe 15 or 20 for that I did look up the bottoms, which is why I picked up all the Zella. So this is your Zella size large. And it's a moto style. It's got the mesh panels, cropped leggings, and a size large. Yeah, I already said that. In excellent condition. And I'm thinking these should bring at least 30, maybe more, just because of the style and the mesh details. So these were, I leave the, let me look. I want to say paid $5. So I also picked up another pair, and these are in a royal blue. So these are Zella size small. And what's cool is they have the open lattice back. And they're also a cropped length. So I paid $5.29, I think, for each of these, or $5. And hopefully they'll bring $30. We'll have to see. And the piece de la resistance, or whatever, that I went back in for that I was balking at paying $7 for and wasn't sure about, was this Ralph Lauren, size small. Look at that beautiful horseback rider. So it's an equestrian print, linen blend sweater, which is beautiful, beautiful details. All over the front, the back, the sleeves, Surprisingly, when I looked this up on eBay, one sold for $161. So if I can turn my seven into 161, 
I will be a happy camper, happy, happy, as they used to say on Duck Dynasty. Okay, then we're gonna move on to Goodwill. And at Goodwill, I picked up, first thing I picked up was this bra because I thought it was soft. S-O, or the brand soft. And come to find out it's Sofra. In a 44 double D. But I thought it was so beautiful. It's like an aquamarine color. All that embroidery. Little bow in the middle. So beautiful. And nice and clean so i haven't done any research on this but since i spent five dollars for it i'm hoping it'll bring at least 25. and then also while i was there i picked up a couple of bathing suits first one's a speedo in a size 16. and i don't know if this brand is uh resells good i know that it's a good well-made brand but we'll just have to see so it's a one piece, it's blue and black. This one appears to never be worn. Of course, I will put in the description that it's, you know, gently loved, but it has the built-in bra. And I only paid $5.29 minus my senior discount. So like I said, hopefully it'll bring 2025. And then surprisingly, I also found another one. This one's in a size 14, but it measures, the bust measures out the same as the 16, so it's probably the same person. And this one's a pretty two-tone blue, and it has the branding on the bottom. So yeah, maybe 2025 for that. And then I also found, I don't even know how well Wilson leggings do, but I picked them up because of the color. So this is size medium Wilson. And they are your purple and pink leggings in excellent condition. Look at how gorgeous those colors are. I just thought somebody might like them. So I think I paid $3.29 for these, and hopefully they'll bring at least $20. But even if I make my money back on them, I'm happy because I really like that color, those colors. These I picked up because the feel of these is amazing. And I really like that plaid print. It's kind of browns, muted, neutrals, which usually I don't like. But these are Under Armour, loose heat gear, size 38. And I don't know if they're golf pants or what because they have cargo pockets. So I have to look them up, but they can probably be used for cargo, hiking, whatever. And they're Under Armour. And I only paid $4 for these. So hopefully, I don't know, maybe 20. They're in really good condition. And yet at another Goodwill, I was getting ready to check out and I was looking on the floor and spotted this. And I love the colors because it's teal and purple. And I thought, oh, let me pick up this cute little cooler because maybe I'll use it, I don't know, to go for a picnic, for my lunch, whatever. So it's your Mini Mate by Igloo. And it was filthy, but I cleaned it up because once I got home, I thought, let me just look it up on eBay and see if it's worth anything. So I paid $5 for it, and these are going for $35 on eBay. So, yep, I will be selling this. So cute. Excellent condition. It's got a few scratches, but hey, it's from the 80s. Love it, love it. Love the colors. And also, at that same Goodwill, which is still a different one, I picked up this cute little shirt. Let me see what color the V was on sale. So, this was... Okay, the color blue was 50% off. So I paid $1.65 for this, and it is just a blue sky, size large. It's got, it's really lightweight. It's got the pretty eyelet placket on the front, embroidered. 
Got little ditzy flowers on it. Gonna be perfect for summer. Kind of in a peasant style. And yeah, I figure I'll list that for 15 and we'll see what happens. <clears throat> and then I picked up this next beauty for $2.65. And it's Phoenix Connection, size medium. I thought it was linen because it feels like linen, but it's actually cotton. But I'm telling you, it feels like linen. So it's got your split V-neck. And it's got some hand-painted details on the front. And come to find out, it's signed by the artist, which is wonderful. So down here, it's got some more with his signature. It's really oversized. What size did I say this was? A medium? This will fit up to an extra, or a 1X. It's got a 46-inch bust, yeah. Really oversized, unlined, lightweight. With the shirt tail hem. So yeah, I thought, oh, it's got some more on the back. So yeah, great score for $2.65. I'll probably list that for $25. See what I get. And then I also found some capris that I paid $5.29 for. These are NYJD or NYDJ, size 14. They're a crop. And they have lift and tuck technology. Sounds intriguing. But the reason I picked them up, they have sequins on the cuffs. So, crop capri, light wash, in excellent condition. I'd be surprised if these were ever even worn. And comps will probably only give me 20, 25 for those. But I really, I thought at first they might fit me, but they're ginormous on me, so yeah. We may be keeping those. Let's see, do we have more Goodwill? No. Oh, I got more at that little thrift store. I only get two once a month. I didn't realize that. So I only paid a dollar for this, and I picked it up because it's so unique. It is a petrified forest. Arizona Petrified Wood Ashtray. So the ashtray's glass and it's set in. I mean, you can't remove it. But it's in really good condition except the back has scratches all over it. But I just thought it was so unique. It's got some amber rock and... You know, I thought somebody might want that for display purposes. Um, I couldn't really find any comps on it, so I don't know, maybe 20 bucks, hopefully. And then I found a pair of dance goes that are in excellent condition, and they're in a size 10. Every time I find dance goes, they're usually size 7 or under. These are, well, they're size 41, so they're size 10 and a half to 11 in U.S. Excellent condition. It's got a little bit of creasing on the top. I love the feel of this leather. It's so soft. So pretty. So I think I have these already listed and priced at 40 and they're already getting attention. So hopefully they'll sell soon. Be nice if they sold for my full asking price. That would be the best. Okay, let's see where this is from. Okay, this is a, this is also a faith-based thrift store, but it's uh, a smaller one that I go into. It's kind of in the homeless part of town. So they probably, you know, they're open to help the homeless. I was surprised when I walked in there. I usually check out their bras. And I found... This white with pink roses and skulls. And I knew before I even looked at the brand what it was. <laughs> so there's your Torrid. Any size 46C. And I would be surprised if this has ever been worn. Because there's no um, 
signs of wear anywhere on it. And did I say what size that was? It is a 46C. <clears throat> and they are sold out on the uh, Torrid website. So, yeah, I have them. And how much did I pay for Already these? sold on Poshmark. So, I figured, let me just look and see if there's any more. And sure enough, I found another one. This one's white with the skulls and the pink roses and the chains. This one's in a size 44C, and I paid $4 for it for some reason. And it's, an also, it's also in excellent condition. It's also sold out on their website. So, yeah, I'll probably price that one at $35 as well. And, and see what it brings. that's what it's sold for on Poshmark. And then I found another bra there. And I paid three dollars for this. It's a Victoria's Secret size 36D. I don't know why I keep picking up Victoria's Secret. They don't seem to sell for me, but they're so cute. I don't understand why people aren't buying their bras. So this is like in a dusty rose color. Excellent condition. And I usually only list these between 20 and 25, but it, was it sold quick. quickly on eBay. Okay, so I picked up bras at that one. <clears throat> and then I think that's all I picked up there, I'm pretty sure. So the next place I went was... Hmm. Okay. This is the another little kind of like Goodwill thrift store, but it's not a Goodwill. And let's see, first item I picked up, I paid $4 for because it is, this is Simply Emma in a size 3X. I think this is a mall brand. I'm not sure, probably JCPenney or something. But I picked it up because of the size and it's got all this pretty embroidery and embellishments around the neck. It's just your lightweight gauzy peasant top and it's got the elastic three four sleeves I like these because you can actually wear them in the summer because they're breathable and they're so lightweight so I usually list them around 25 and we'll see what that brings it brought 1990 on eBay a dress that I paid six dollars for this is JMD who I've never heard of in a size extra large but it's kind of like that Raya Sun dress I had good luck with. It is a embroidered, all over embroidered, maxi dress. It's lightweight, crinkle gauze, broomstick actually. See how it has the embroidery all over? It's a beautiful color. It's got the tie back. Skirt's actually a full skirt. Oh, it's not embroidered on the back. Hmm. But it's a full broomstick skirt. And I don't know, the last one sold like overnight for 25 bucks. So we'll see what that brings. Next item I picked up because I don't think I've ever found this brand before. It's Chaser in a size medium. And it is a lightweight, well, it's not really lightweight, but it's a thermal shirt. waffle thermal and it's got these cool metal snap cuffs so i only paid oh well, actually i paid six dollars for this so hopefully it'll bring at least 25. i really like that detail it's so pretty and i like the color it's kind of like a thistle color thought somebody might want that transitioning into spring and then I picked up another dress that I paid $5 for. Oh, actually, this isn't a dress. It's two-piece. Ah. So this is a two-piece pants set by Fresh Produce. In a size large, and it's lightweight and gauzy. And it has an all-over starfish print. How cute is that? So it's got your three, four sleeves with cute little scalloped cuffs. 
And then it has your matching elastic waist wide leg culotte pants to go with it. Perfect resort wear, beach wear, vacation wear. So I'll probably list that for 25 and see what it brings. Let's see, did we go? Oh, we went to the Catholic thrift store too. So let me see what we got. This is a little Catholic thrift store. Looks like I only got one piece or one item, unless there's more bags. So I only paid $3 for this, but it's a tantrum blues, so it's vintage, and it's a size large. But I picked it up because it is a cute vest with all these cowboy boots on it. It's like a tapestry embroidered with the embossed metal buttons. And then it's got your solid denim back. And it's in a good size, so I'll probably list that for 25 and see what it brings. Did I get anything more from there? Nope. I don't think so. Oh, I got a pair of shoes. Yes, I did. So I picked up a pair of shoes there that I only paid $4 for. And I picked them up because they're born. And they are a size eight. So they're your born basic clog and they have the comfort cushy insoles. They're all leather in really good condition. Let me see if I can hold them both up together. Do they have any? Nope, just a few scratches. So those are in good condition. I usually list my borns between 30 and 35. They're good for nurses and, you know, people that are on their feet a lot. Kind of like dance goes. Oh, I guess I did get more stuff at that little Catholic place. No, I didn't. This is a different place. Okay, so we have another small thrift store. <laughs> Way on the other side of town. First thing I saw was this World War II veteran. I served with pride. Hat. pretty embroidery it's got the mesh back adjustable so it has all this pretty embroidery on it the mesh adjustable back and better yet it's made in the USA so I'm thinking so I'm thinking maybe $20 for this and then I went to another little thrift and actually, ooh, I went to an estate sale, but I only picked up two things. And it I only paid $2 for each. And they are these cute little Victoria's Secret dogs. The little mini dogs. This one's pink with white polka dots. And it has the, the peace sign t-shirt on it. So, uh, this one I think is going for maybe $25 on eBay. This one, not so much. So, this is a doodle dog. It's got all the doodle, doodle, the doodle graffiti print on it. So, maybe $15 or $20 for that one. And then I went to another thrift store, like I said, and picked up a few items. The first item I picked up, I paid $1.98 for. And it's just on a Delta Pro Weight tag, size large. But I picked it up because it's purple and has Santa Fe embroidered on it with a Coco Pelli. This is going to take a specific buyer, but I picked it up because of the color and all the embroidery. So I'll probably list that for 15 So I hope you enjoyed my haul video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And I'll see you on the next one.